I'd like to illustrate the problem this way. It's called the problem of combinatorials. If you've got four dials and 10 digits on each, you get 10,000 possibilities. Only one combination. If you're, a, if you're a thief out there trying to crack this lock, maybe it's on a bike outside of Moat Hall, um, is it more likely that you'll, that you'll crack the lock by chance or, or fail? Uh, it's a trick question, though, isn't it? What else do you have to know? You have to know how much time, how many opportunities. If you have enough opportunities to do uh, 5,001 possible combinations, it becomes more likely that you'll succeed than fail, in which case the chance hypothesis becomes more likely to be true than false. Reminding how I was reasoning in the last hour? Okay, similar. But what if the thief encounters not a lock like this, there he is spinning four dials, da 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 da, but what if he encounters this lock? Now it gets a lot harder, doesn't it? I did some math on this and found that if the thief lived for 100 years, changed one dial every 10 seconds, took no potty breaks, had no dates, never ate dinner, or anything else, he could sample about 3% of the total 10 billion possible combinations in 100 years. In that case, it's much more likely that the thief will fail than succeed in randomly searching for the combination, in which case the chance hypothesis is more likely to be false and true. 